I'm Rob Bell for Southwest London Television. I am a massive fan of open water swimming and I've come down this morning to one of my local green spaces to meet up with some friends from the area. We're about to embark on a project which we hope is going to bring a huge amount of benefit to the local community. Welcome to Wimbledon Park. So what are the challenges that we face in trying to get this lake open to swimming? I think there's three main challenges. The first one is we need to make sure that the water quality is, is safe and good enough, which is why we're here today. We, uh, we're going to be carrying out a water test, taking samples um, with the help of Swim Safety uh, and some other volunteers. Swim Safety will check those samples at a lab and we'll get results in time for the 8th of June meeting. Well, the sun is sometimes coming out for us here today, so I'm going to suggest we get our suits on yep. and get into the water. Let's do it. Yeah, let's, 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 let's get in. Uh, let's get suited up and uh, let's get in. Great. Let's get that water tested. So how excited are you about the prospect that this could be opened up? Wimbledon Lake could be opened up for swimming. Very, very. I mean, firstly, it's on my doorstep, so, so that's kind of selfishly. I could cycle here in five minutes and be in the lake. And the health benefits of cold water swimming have been well documented. It's amazing for mental health. It's amazing for, yeah, just spiritual well-being. And, and what do you feel are the, are the benefits to, to, to the community, to individuals, to families of, of using lakes like this and getting a swim out in open water? Well, I think, um, I think out's the word, actually, out, outdoors. Um, I think with spaces of this size, with the assets that, that's here with the lake, um, I think just being outdoors you know, for as long as possible, popping down for the park for a game of tennis or cricket, great, but it's another reason to come down, to use that lake to have a full day out or just anything to get outdoors and stay outdoors. So once we get all the information back on the water quality, what are the next steps to try and drive this campaign and drive this project forward to get people swimming here in the Wimbledon Park? We need to onboard local stakeholders around the lake. The main one is Merton Council, who effectively own the lake, but on the borders of the lake we have Wandsworth Council, we have the All England Lawn Tennis Club, we have the Wimbledon Club, uh, we have Friends of Wimbledon Park, lots of different organisations who care about the wildlife, the space, um, and ultimately we all want the same thing, we want a better environment for everyone. And there's a lot going on over the next few years that mean the lake could be improved. Um, the lake has to have some remedial works carried out by 2022, there's development going on, on the other side of the lake with the All England Lawn Tennis Club. Um, there's lots of changes happening, but no one's really thinking about the lake. I think we, we want, to, want to encourage people to come and give their input, hopefully sign up with the petition to show that they are supportive of the idea, uh, make some comments. We've had some great input and feedback there. There's a key meeting on the 8th of June where the Mayor of Merton and a whole bunch of the local stakeholders I mentioned earlier will be present to consider this idea and this proposal. Um, and after that we should be able to communicate with the circa 2,000 people so far who have given us their support online um, what the progress will be. But our goal and our vision would be to have open water swimming in this lake within the next six months. That is, that is an amazing and exciting prospect for me Stuart and I, and I know how excited you are about this as yeah. well. Yeah, I think, I think people, open water swimmers themselves are a small but loyal community and they could create the kind of nucleus, the foundations for a model here that could grow and become much more accessible. But they, you know, open water swimmers will get up early, they'll come in the mornings, they'll go in the evenings, they're not going to impact any of the existing activities, they're just going to grow the use of the lake and, um, and hopefully contribute back for everyone. We should get our results from the water quality testing in just a couple of days and then Stuart and the team will take our campaign to the Wimbledon Lake Steering Committee on the 8th of June. And it's fingers crossed that local businesses, local stakeholders and the local council are up for working with us on making this initiative a reality and bringing open water swimming to Wimbledon Park Lake. If you want to get involved and show your support, the link is down below. It's swimwimbledon.co.uk. Sign the petition, tell all your friends about this and show us the support. Show us how much you want to open this lake for swimming as much as we do. I feel brilliant having been in there this morning and I just know I'm going to go and have a great day because of that. This is what we can achieve down here at Wimbledon Park. This is Rob Bell 
for Southwest London Television.